I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Rays vs Brewers My best pick is Under 8.5 runs Milwaukee of Christian Yellick, back, played catch on Monday and is eligible to return from the injured list next week. Through 31 games, Tampa Bay ranks 23rd in OPS and 19th in runs scored. For the season, Milwaukee ranks 4th in OPS and 10th in runs scored. Take the under. Cardinals vs. Tigers. My best pick is. Tigers win. St. Louis of Dylan Carlson, shoulder, is scheduled to begin a rehab assignment with AAA Memphis this week. Through 30 games, St. Louis ranks 27th in OPS and 28th in runs scored. For the season, Detroit ranks 25th in OPS and 23rd in runs scored. Take the Tigers to win the rubber game at home. Twins vs. White Sox My best pick is Under 8.5 runs Minnesota will win its ninth straight, but the play here is under. Chicago is last in baseball and runs scored at 79 for an average of 2.72 runs per game. Minnesota starting pitcher Bailey Ober has had four consecutive strong outings allowing four runs across 24 and one-third innings. Chicago starter Chris Flexen has also pitched well the last three starts, allowing one run across 11 and one-third innings. Royals vs. Blue Jays My best pick is Royals win Toronto has lost five of its last seven overall and will face one of the Royals' best pitchers thus far this season. Kansas City starter Seth Lugo has had four strong starts out of the last five, allowing a total of seven runs across 30 innings, while allowing two earned runs or less in four of the five starts. Toronto starter Chris Bassett struggled last time out, allowing seven runs across just two and two-thirds innings. Pirates vs. Athletics My best pick is Pirates win Oakland is last in baseball and team batting average at .206 and just 17th in team ERA at 4.03. The Athletics will not be able to keep pace with what its starting pitcher will give up to the Pirates on Wednesday. Oakland starter Ross Stripling has struggled to start the season at 0-5 with a 4.98 ERA. The right-hander has allowed 14 runs across 22 and one-third innings in the last four starts with Oakland losing three of the four. Braves vs. Mariners My best pick is Under 7.5 runs The play here is under. The under has cashed in each of the last seven for both Atlanta and Seattle and in four of the last six played between Atlanta and Seattle. Atlanta starter Chris Sale is coming off his best start of the season after allowing one run on two hits across seven innings, while Seattle starter Emerson Hancock has had three consecutive strong outings allowing four runs across 18 innings. Phillies vs. Angels My best pick is Phillies win Philadelphia has won four of its last five, while Los Angeles has lost nine of its last 11. Philadelphia starter Zach Wheeler has had two consecutive strong outings allowing no runs on two hits across 13 and one-third innings resulting in a pair of victories for the Phillies. Los Angeles starter Patrick Sandoval has had two consecutive poor outings allowing 10 runs across nine and two-thirds innings, with LA losing both. Reds vs. Padres My best pick is Over eight runs this should be an interesting matchup between the Reds and Padres. These squads are pretty evenly matched and we should have a back and forth affair. We think this game is headed to the over making our best bet the over 8.5 runs. Yankees vs. Orioles My best pick is Orioles win. We think the Orioles win this game at home. 
The OS have an impressive record at home and we think they will give their best to beat division rivals in front of the home crowd. Our best bet is BAL 160. Rockies vs. Marlins. My best pick is under 8 runs. This game will be a lot closer than people think. Both the Miami Marlins and the Colorado Rockies have been struggling this season and that won't change on Wednesday. Expect this game to be extremely close and for the total to go well under. Cubs vs. Mets My best pick is Cubs win. This game will be nothing short of a mismatch. The Chicago Cubs have been playing extremely well this season and this game will be no different. Despite not having Cody Bellinger in the lineup, the Cubs will get things done offensively and beat the Mets with ease. Giants vs. Red Sox My best pick is Red Sox minus 1.5 runs San Francisco looks to build off a solid series against the Pirates, while the Red Sox come off a wild series against the Cubs. Cutter Crawford has been amazing this season, expect him to lead the Red Sox to the win on Wednesday. Nationals vs. Rangers My best pick is Washington plus 1.5 runs Trevor Williams is set to be the Nationals starting pitcher in this game. He's posted a 2.70 ERA through 26 innings of play. Washington is averaging 7.9 hits and 4.2 runs per game while batting .237 at the plate. The Nationals are giving up 9.4 hits, 29th in MLB and 4.4 runs per game. The Texas Rangers head into this series with a 15-14 record which places them second in the AL West. The Rangers have won two of their last three games, most recently defeating the Cincinnati Reds 4-3 on Sunday. Dane Dunning gave up two runs through five innings in this game, while Adulis Garcia connected on his eighth home run. Andrew Heaney will be the Rangers starting pitcher in this game. He's sitting with a 6.26 ERA through 23 innings. Texas has taken a step back at the plate from last season. They rank 13th at 4.6 runs per game. The Rangers bullpen has been solid this season, limiting teams to 7.1 hits per game, second in MLB. Washington looks to keep their four-game win streak alive in this series, while the Rangers hope to build off two straight wins. Expect Williams to keep this game close for the Nationals, however. The Rangers will take this one. Guardians vs. Astros My best pick is Guardians wins. Houston's reliance on Verlander's pitching talents faces a serious test against Cleveland's balanced attack. Given the current dynamics and depth of both teams, the Guardians are positioned to edge out a victory in a closely contested game. This matchup is set to be a display of pitching and timely hitting, with Cleveland likely to exploit any slips by the Astros. Dodgers vs. Diamondbacks My best pick is Dodgers minus 1.5 runs The Dodgers are currently topping the NL West, boasting a team batting average of .275, the highest in the league, alongside a league-leading on-base percentage of .353. This offensive firepower is complemented by Mookie Betts and Shohei Otani, who are having stellar seasons with Betts leading in home runs, 8, and Otani excelling with a .341 average and a .635 slugging percentage. Arizona, sitting fourth in the division, has faced challenges highlighted by Monday's game against the Dodgers where they lost 8-4. The team's .249 batting average and a slugging percentage that ranks 14th in the league are concerns. Christian Walker and Corbin Carroll have been bright spots, with Walker posting a solid .269 average and Carroll matching bets with 8 home runs. The Dodgers come into this game with the upper hand in both team performance and individual statistics. They lead the Diamondbacks in nearly every offensive category and have managed a better pitching performance despite recent injuries. Arizona will have a tough time containing the Dodgers lineup, particularly with pitching struggles and injuries. Expect the Dodgers to exploit these matchups and come out on top.